Hey guys, this is Alexandra from Magic Mint Illustration. Welcome back to my channel. It is day 30. Yoo yes, it is day 30 of the challenge. And I wanted to do something different. Uh, it's not gonna be a drawing session. It's just gonna be a quick chat. Let's chat. I have my coffee. I didn't bring my coffee. Pause. Wait a minute. I'm gonna bring my coffee. Okay, I have my coffee with me here. Let's take a sip. Mm. Perfect. So, I wanted to do a quick video on a few lessons I learned in these 30 days Draw With Me Challenge. And I'm gonna do uh, 15 lessons I learned through the entire month. What are my thoughts on this challenge? What would I do different? Maybe would I do it again? And yeah, let's see. So let's just jump right in with lesson number one. Consistency is key. I think the most important lesson, maybe one of the most, is that being consistent is gonna help you through, I think it's gonna help you in any area, but being consistent with your hobby, with your passion, especially with your passion, is gonna help you a lot and it's gonna count more than your motivation. This leads me to lesson number two, which is motivation is not all. You will need to be disciplined. So in these 30 days, I learned that after the first buzz goes out and the challenge kind of was settling in, it didn't. I didn't want to do it anymore. There were times where I felt just tired. I didn't know what would I, what would I film. I didn't know what to do. I just I didn't want to do it. So I realized quickly that motivation is not going to be super helpful and I'm going to need to be disciplined. So I think this helped me become more disciplined in my field and in my life. The lesson number three, yeah, lesson number three is embracing imperfection. Because I set up this challenge in such a way, I had only 15 minutes each day to draw. Obviously, a lot of the drawings weren't perfect, weren't finished by my standards. So I had to learn to deal with that. I had to learn to just embrace the fact that that is the drawing that I just finished. And that's it. And it's gonna have to be enough for today. And that, I think, it's spilled in my life, in my day-to-day -day life as well. Embracing imperfection. And it also made me realize that I am a bit of a perfectionist when, when I do things. And I didn't know that about myself. So I think that's nice. That's a good lesson. It's not an uncomfortable lesson, but it's a lesson. Lesson number four. Lesson number four would be to plan out better. I'm I'm the type of girl that's go with the flow, I like to think. And I realized that in this type of challenge, especially being a 30-day challenge, going with the flow was not my best friend. Because there were times I didn't know what I was doing, because I didn't plan the whole month ahead. I didn't pre-film the entire month I just went in decided you know what I'm gonna do a 30 days challenge and press record and that was that and then after the first few days I realized oh no what have I done what am I getting myself into but that's it I just had to continue lesson number five be patient it taught me patience it taught me patience because it also made me realize what I said before that things take time and some drawings are not going to be finished in 15 minutes and I needed to be patient with myself. Also it made me become more patient with my thought process, my editing process, my everything process. 
I'm realizing more and more that I want to do things like now and if I don't do them now I tend to believe that I'm doing something wrong which is a very toxic way of thinking and it leads to burnout pretty quickly so it made me realize that no I'm not doing something wrong things just take time things need a certain amount of energy and you will not be able to just paint or draw in 15 minutes and then just boom that's it no things take way longer than you think and that's lesson number six things take way much longer time that you need that you think is gonna take so for example going into this challenge i didn't really take into consideration the fact that i was not only gonna have to film for 15 minutes I was also gonna have to do some sort of editing and adding music and adding thumbnails and all that and that takes time <laughs> so that goes well with the planning that I was saying earlier um, expect to take longer and the seventh lesson would be lower your expectations uh, I quickly realized that my expectations for this challenge, even though I, when I went into this, I was like, I'm not gonna have any expectations, I'm doing this for fun. I had, I had expectations, I had so many expectations, and I had expectations from myself, from example, let's say, I had a style of filming in head in my head and I just didn't I wasn't able to do it because I'm not there yet I'm still learning to edit and I'm in that point and I remember this point because I was there with drawing as well I'm in that point where I know how I want this to look I know I have the vision but I don't have the skills yet so I have to learn still. Lesson number eight. Okay, lesson number eight, joy of sharing. Uh, what I mean by that, I realize I'm super happy to be able to create and just upload to YouTube and to Instagram, TikTok or whatever platforms. I'm, I'm happy and I hope to connect more with people. And my goal with this channel especially is to create a community of like-minded people and I would like to be able to help those that are on the same path as I was when I started meaning a self-taught artist not sure of what way to go to and not having their family fully supporting this career and I'm saying this especially because I know how alone you could feel and I know how hard it can be to not have a support system when you're first starting especially when it's something so close and dear to your heart lesson nine is setting lower and realistic goals I think I went into this with too much ambition and I think I set too bigger of a goals. My goal was to create every day, to upload every day a 15 minute video to YouTube and in which I drew and I just sat for 15 minutes and just do my, did my thing. And what I learned is it wasn't always possible because I traveled and I didn't have uh, the means to take all my equipment and all that and sometimes I just didn't have internet straight up so that was impossible that was an unrealistic goal to film edit upload create thumbnails each day so then because I still wanted to carry on with this, I started to pre-film some videos and that really helped and that made this goal a bit more realistic. I felt bad 
because in my mind I wanted this to be as accurate as possible but it wasn't possible I wasn't able to do it so yeah set better goals and more realistic ones lesson 10 learning from mistakes um, I think I have a huge list of mistakes that I could start and uh, talk about from this first challenge I'm planning on doing more but this was a learning curve yeah I'm gonna maybe do a video on the mistakes I think I made and how could I improve and if you have feedback I would love to know it in the comments below lesson 11 I'm not good at editing yet and that's it <laughs> that's the lesson and I knew I wasn't good at editing but I have this thing and I think it's a good part of for of my brain and the bad part of my brain I have this thing where I think I can do something and because I think it in my mind I am under the impression that I actually have the skills to do it I don't know if it makes sense but yeah so in my mind I was like oh yeah I watched some tutorials on YouTube for sure I'm gonna know how to edit and it's gonna be easy no <laughs> it's not and it's not because also I don't have the best laptop I, I mean I ha it's a pretty good gaming laptop you would think it's good but apparently not for Premiere and this app crashed on me so many times I wanted to throw my computer out the window so 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 many times L lesson number 12 finding inspiration everywhere and I mentioned this in a previous videos the one with the baguettes I think I'm gonna link it somewhere here that that drawing came to life because I went to the store and bought bread and some other stuff for lunch and they just got inspired to create some funny baguettes so that's the lesson you will uh, learn to find inspiration pretty much everywhere it can come from a conversation with a friend it can come from a walk in nature walk through the city just pay attention you'll find inspiration in places you wouldn't even think of lesson number 13 I learned to explore different themes and I think this challenge in itself allowed me to take that pressure off and just try different things. I explored some lettering, I explored some cute character drawing, which is something I'm very into lately. And I allowed myself to explore that. I explored the choosing one color palette and I used that for the entire month. That was interesting. And that was very freeing at the same time. Lesson number 14 would be art as a um, way of self-expression. I think this month allowed me to better understand my emotions and to better express some emotions through drawing and through illustrating my art. I think it helped me create a more cohesive pieces so I think that's gonna be helpful in the future as well and now for the final lesson feedback I think putting myself out here every day uh, for the past month allowed me to prepare myself mentally for feedback feedback is good even if it's not always comfortable and sometimes it's not coming from a place of love and from the heart and that yeah that's especially hurtful but usually feedback is very important and it's very helpful and I think it's the one of the biggest parts of being an artist taking feedback and I know it's hard because when someone gives you a feedback especially if it's a negative one you'll tend to think oh that person thinks that about me because you identified so so much with your art but it's not you it's your art 
it's the idea remember we talked about this in another video so yeah feedback is another lesson i learned constructive criticism is great it's not comfortable but it's necessary it is how we grow and think about it you chose maybe to put yourself out on the internet feedback is gonna happen if you like it or not you chose this path so embrace it and that's it this these are my 15 lessons that i learned through this month i am very grateful that i got to do this challenge i don't know if i'm gonna do it anytime soon it was challenging it was at times not fun at all and there were times where i really wanted to quit because i didn't have many views i still don't get a lot of views um, and that can be discouraging i'm gonna be straightforward and say it. that's gonna be discouraging my subscribers my subscriber list grew and that I'm very thankful for and even though I aim for high numbers I always think wait the people that subscribe to my channel are actually human beings that watch my content so even if it's not a thousand a hundred thousand a million whatever I have a bunch of people that watch my content and I want to do better for them and I want to create more engaging content for this audience that I have now. I'm, I don't want to chase the numbers and f keep forgetting that I'm in this moment, in the present moment, with this number of subscribers, with these views. I'm really trying to stay more present. So in the future videos. I want to focus on my journey as a self-taught artist, maybe tips and tricks, some tutorials are gonna be next, and we'll see what else I'll think about. Thank you so much for joining me, and if you joined this challenge, I hope it helped you, and if you're joining this later on, welcome, and I hope you find and take something good for this from this. Thank you so much. I'm Alexandra with Magic Mint. Until next time, bye.